Hey everyone, uh, Russ Mullen here. Um, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how I use EasyRx to um, in my office. Um, so this is how to put a new patient into the system, into the EasyRx system, how to um, link a scan, a, a digital tooth scan, and how to um, manipulate that scan and prepare it for sending it to the printer. So we'll go over all those things today. Um, okay, so first of all, we will start just on a simple Google search. EasyRx is uh, web-based, so this is being done on a Mac, but I am um, assuming that it would be the same on a PC. So just click on here. Um, Here's what comes up, and we will need to come up to this blue button here. Log in. My email and password. Okay, so this is just a little post-it note I stuck on the screen so you can't see the actual patient's names, but this is the home page. So it shows you everything um, over here, you know, um, a bunch of tags that you can put on to easily find things um, needed soon, appointment date, etc. Um, here we've got the patient, um, special tags we use for special appliances, then the a list of which office you want it at. You can choose a different office that you want it at. Um, the doctor, so if you have several doctors in your office, you can designate which appliances for which doctor, and then also which lab it's being sent to. So this is where you, all of these happen to be Mullen Orthodontics in-house lab, um, but we use a bunch of other labs, which is very easy to link up with an EasyRx. So for instance, Accutech, um, AOA, our local lab um, is also on here. Um, it's kind of a one-man show. Shannon is awesome. but. Um, he uses it too, so quite a few people use EasyRx. It uses it too. It's a very, uh, very popular platform. And then just these are some tags, whether the, um, whether the appliance has been received and whether it's been delivered to the patient. So today we're going to kind of skip ahead to start um, skip ahead to this green tab here and click here. Okay. Good, and now we'll go ahead and enter the patient's name. Um, birthday. Patient ID, the patient ID, the birthday, those are optional. The yellow ones are the ones that are not optional. So let's say we need it on April 22nd, 2020. Um, the doctor. Select the doctor, select the office it goes to, um, ship it to Leesburg office. This is, um, so the scan and, or impression by, this is a list of your staff who may have taken the scan or the impression. So this is do it me, um, submitted by, in our office we use this, um, who is actually doing the prescription. So also me. And create. Just click on that and this little digital um, template comes up. So they have, um, we have several, um, several auto, oh not auto save, we, we've made all these templates um, and you can make them, save them however you like. So we're going to do, um, bah, 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 bah. let's do upper and lower Essex retainers, one set. So you can either draw on here um, if you want. So I'm just doing a free hand sketch. Um, let's say we want, we want that going to the lab. Um, we'll add clasp. Uh, what a poly. Add a clasp here and actually delete them all because we're just going to do the template here. So let's do upper and lower Essex retainers. One we'll that. So we'll add that. And this is what pops up. This is something that we've generated in our 
um, in our office. So um, here are the instructions to the lab, single set of upper and lower Essex retainers. And good. So now I scrolled down um, on the whole page. Um, this, so I use an iTero scanner in my office. So use iTero scan, look up and insert. Let's do this. So I clicked on attach scan there. So that should attach it. Patient Daniel Mullen. Um, the other options here, um, we don't use those very often. We usually use iTero scans. So then we are going to use this yield, or excuse me, this green button, sign and submit. So I'm gonna click that. And um, so that is the lab, um, the lab one, the lab um, prescription. So now, if you can see, this is this is um, this file here. So we're going to do. I'm gonna skip um, down and. Uh, EZRX is working on exporting the case from Maya Tarot. Okay, so let's assume that we're looking for a patient. So I clicked on this button here, Patients, and then we're going to search for a patient. So type the first few letters in, um, search. And these guys pop up, and we're going to choose Daniel Mullen. So this is, I'll click over here, view. So now his chart opens up. So um, we already created the Rx, we don't have to do that. Um, this is an old file for him, so it has a few extra things in it, but I just wanted to show you how easy it was. So ignore these blue things. Usually this is the final file that we had done previously, but um, what you want to see is the yellow one, first of all. Um, usually when you open up the file, just this, this yellow box with the shell occlusion upper and yellow box shell occlusion lower is in there. Um, these little gears that says optimize the file for EZRX. So you just click on that. Our EZRX will now, now optimize the STL file. So that gets out any imperfections in it. Um, it does it automatically, super easy. Um, I'm gonna do that for the upper and the lower arch. So I clicked on the upper and lower arch to optimize. Um, this does take a couple of minutes.